So you began at in a in a in a kind of improv background in a theater background in college. Yes. And you were in a successful production. A producer walks backstage and he's he or she, I don't know, is from Saturday Night Live. He. And you're off to the races. Yes. Am I wrong and think it's been a pretty charmed career? Um, no, you're not wrong. I mean, it hasn't all been, you know, easy chocolate and roses, yeah. but um, uh, it has been a lot of fun. And even in retrospect, looking back when it wasn't fun, I guess it sort of was in a weird, bizarre way. But is it what you wanted in the, when you were doing theater in college? Did you think, well, if I could have my absolute druthers, if, if this could all go well, I could be, and then you thought Meryl Streep or you thought Gilda Radner or what, 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 were you, what was in your mind in terms of ambition? Um, I wanted to get a job. <laughs> That was my ambition. Yeah. I wanted to be taken seriously as an actress, and I wanted a gig. And so, yes, my dream has come true. So, and 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 particularly, I would say now, I really like working in an ensemble, which I very much feel that Veep is. And you were in an ensemble Saturday yeah. Night Live, but it turned out the ensemble was not a happy family at all. And right. It was, why not? What You went there, you thought this was the p- best of all possible worlds. You yeah. get there, and the one person you connect with is his most miserable son of a bitch on earth, which is Larry David, who's incredibly unhappy, getting none of his sketches on the air. Correct. And you're, what's happening with you? Well, I cried a lot. Um, I was very young, for starters. Uh, I was 21. Were you misused, or were you not ready, or what was happening? All what of was the happening? above. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I will absolutely take responsibility for a lot of it because I was um, very naive. I came in thinking it was an ensemble. We'd all work together to find stuff. You know, I didn't know. I was a college student. I had no idea. I didn't come in with a bag of tricks. Now, the other thing I should mention is that the, a lot of people were doing drugs, big-time drugs. I was, again, so naive. I just thought, you know, oh, that's so weird. That guy's script is – that sketch is like 17 pages long and – and at the table read, he's howling, laughing. I wonder why. <laughs> he seems so energetic. Yeah. And he's sniffling. <laughs> What's that? Exactly. Yeah. But anyway, it was kind of funky was, time. And when you say it was completely male, it was, the ethos was male or just everybody at the writer's table is a guy? All of it. All of it. And, and, it no, was, and it, it's, it's not like this is 1947, and I don't mean to sound naive, but didn't anybody say this is missing half of human experience and no people don't no you that's not how maybe that's how people talk here at the new yorker yeah <laughs> but not there no describe this in other words describe the world of, of of hollywood why there aren't more women in places of authority directors producers and and more to the point studio heads and yet this is liberal hollywood supposedly isn't this the reality almost in any business big business big money making business and and I'd love to be – I'd love for you to tell me, well, no, it's not the case in – but what is it not the case in? Yeah. Um, and so what's happening? Is anything happening in Hollywood? Is there is there a louder, more intelligent, more forceful discussion and, and a proactive effort that you sense or is it just a lot of chatter? Um, I think it's a lot of chatter, and really? I don't mean to sound discouraging. I, I mean, I'm I'm p- pushing back all the time as much as I possibly can. You know, it's been interesting because it's taken <clears> – <throat> I'm producing on Veep, but getting uh, a credit as a producer in my lifetime has been – sometimes I've gotten a lot of pushback on it in a way that I wonder if would be the case if I was a man. And how does the pushback take shape? How does it – It's a negotiation that is hard, that is hard, that seems like – certain parties aren't going to move on. 